to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe click on the notification bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up so today's tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew booboo dress with Kio. Is this your first time of coming to my channel? Thanks a lot. Kindly join us on Facebook, to the designs on Instagram, to the designs and also visit our website. You guys, we have amazing fashion illustration on our website. All the details are going to be in the description box below. Now, what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your booboo -boo dress with Kio? So we have our shoulder measurements, which is 24 inches. Now, now, I know you are going to be asking how come our shoulder is 24 inches, that's a whole lot. Now, in order for you to achieve your booboo -boo dress, there are two methods in which you can take your shoulder measurements. Now, the first one is to take your shoulder measurement and then you add your sleeve length to it. And your sleeve length totally depends on where you want your booboo -boo to get up to. That is the first method. Now, the second method in which you can achieve your shoulder is simply to take your measurements from your shoulder up to where you want it to be. You are still going to have the same result. So the first one I said is add your sleeve measurement with your shoulder measurement to give you your shoulder measurement because it's a booboo -boo dress. Or take your measurement directly from your shoulder to where you want your booboo -boo dress to be. So for me, I have 24 inches. So 24 inches, I'm going to go ahead and add one inch for my folding allowance. So I have plus one, I have 25 inches. My bust is 36. Six divided by four plus two, I have 11. Waist is 30. 30 divided by 4 plus 2, I have 9 and a half. Hip is 38. 38 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 11 and a half. Our gown length is 33 plus 2 inches, I'm going to have 35 inches. So, these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your booboo -boo dress with your Kio. So you can also join us for training. Trainings are available, both online training and physical training. All the details are going to be in the description box below. So feel free to drop your questions in the course of this video. If you have any question or anywhere you are not really clear on, feel free to drop it in the comment section or you have any topic you want us to make a video on, drop it in the comment section. So now, let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. Guys, the first thing we are going to do now is, we'll go ahead now and fold our fabric into four. After folding your fabric into four, you take your basic measurements, shoulder to bust, 10 inches, so that's bust 10 inches, bust to waist 8 inches, waist to hip 9 inches, So these are the lines. So the next thing we are going to do now is to take our shoulder measurement, which is 24 inches. So I made use of the shoulder measurement to fold the fabric, right? So I'll go ahead now and take my neckline, which I'm making use of 3 inches by 5. And I want a round neckline. A round neckline. Okay, so this is our neckline now. So you go ahead now and mark your one inch shoulder slope and then connect it this way. So you just basically me taking away this salvage from the fabric. So on my bust line now, I'll mark my bust measurement which is 11 inches. 
on my waistline, I'll mark my waist measurement, which is 9.5. On my hip line now, I'll mark my hip measurement, which is 11.5. So I'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. So this is what we basically have. So we connect the lines together. Now, for you to determine your key O or for you to get your key O, your key O is usually around your waist area because all this does is just like give it a kind of fitting around your waist area. So on this waist area now, it totally depends on how wide or how small you want your key O to be. So you can use like one inch, one and a half, two inches, two and a half, depending on how big you want it to be. So I'm going to make it of two inches. I'll mark two inches now on my waistline. I'll mark two inches now on my waistline and then and then I'll connect it this way just to give me like a round shape. You just basically to have like a round shape. So you can see our key O because we are going to cut this out. You can see this is very, very easy. It's basically very, very easy. All we are going to do now is we'll go ahead now and cut out our neckline, shoulder slope, and then we'll cut out just this, our key O area. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out and show you guys what it looks like. After cutting it out, you can see the neckline and you can see our key O. So this part is basically opened, right? It's basically open because this is the key O. So you can determine that you want yours to be bigger than this or you want yours to be smaller. It depends on what you want. So I'll just go ahead now and cut this part straight, making use of the shoulder measurement because what we are what we have here is our booboo, -boo, right? So after cutting it out, this is what we have. So we've gone ahead to also cut out using our length to cut out this part. So you can see the key oil. This is actually very easy, guys. So what we are going to do now, that is for the sewing part. So let me open it into two. You will see that this key oil also appears on these two parts. So it's basically easier. You can see your booboo. -boo. You can see, you see have your booboo -boo effect and then you have your key O. So what you are going to do now, to stitch this is very easy. What you are going to do now is go ahead and M your neckline. M your neckline. In your neckline, you go ahead and join these shoulders together. Join the two shoulders together. Now, for your key O, for your key O, there are various, there are two methods in which you can M this is your key O1. You can weave, you can weave it, right? Or using interlock machine to weave it. Or you will stitch it this way. You will place it this, stitch it this way. Round. So that you will turn it by the time you are turning it to the front, okay? So just go ahead and M your key O also. M your key or either you stitch it or you weave it it depends on what you want after that basically so guys after stitching the key or and the shoulders we are going to take our basic measurement on the front why because what we have is boo boo so this is the center line that is the middle point of our dress now we'll go ahead now and take our bust measurement which is 11 inches so you mark 11 inches this way, you mark 11 inches this way, and also you also mark 11 inches. So it's basically just taking like your full, um, your full measurement for the front. So shoulder to bust, we have 10 inches, shoulder to bust, 10 inches, bust to waist, 8 inches. Bust to waist, 8 inches, waist to hip, 9 inches, right? So, on this waistline now, we'll take our waist measurement, which is 9.5. We'll take it on this side, 9.5, and also on this other part, 9.5. Now, our hip is 11.5. We'll mark 11.5. 
on this part and also 11.5 this way right so you go ahead now and connect this together so you basically connect this other part too together now because this is boo boo in as much as we have our key oil here which has been emmed already you will now stitch this your measurement on the front you are stitching it on the front that was why i had to turn it to the front and show you guys how to take your measurement and how to know where to stitch it on the front so we've taken our full front measurement now you now go ahead and stitch this on the front you are not sewing it at the back you are sewing it on the front now another thing you will also take note of in this lower part is that you are not stitching this all the way down because of the movements around your knee area so you can leave about four inches or three inches so you end your stitching around this part you are not stitching this all the way down you might not find it very easy to work so you leave about three or four inches up and then you end your stitching around this part so now i will go ahead now and and stitch this on the front after stitching this on the front our dress is basically ready so what i'm going to do now is i'll go ahead now and m the front block you are not joining it together okay you are aiming it separately and then i will also go ahead and m the lower part of the dress so once i'm done with that i'll put this on the mannequin and show you guys what it looks like so i hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so it's very easy so for this key o now you can see our key o which is emmed already for this key o now we are going to fix in a belt in this key o so that you can just grip your waist area this way and just give it like a tighter look or just make it fitted and more beautiful so let's go ahead now and cut out, cut out the belt now for the belt it totally depends on how wide or how tiny you want your belt to be so i have about four inches by the time i fold it like this into two and i stitch it i'm going to have two inches so for the length of a belt because you are going to tie this around your waist area, so the length should be longer than your waist. So our waist is 30 inches. I have about 38 inches so that I can tie this, you know, I can just give like a tie. So you can either make yours like a longer belt or a shorter belt. It just depends on what you want to achieve. So I'll basically just go ahead now and stitch this all the way round. So that I can have my belt ready fixed into my gown and I will show you guys what it looks like. So I hope you guys have learned a lot from this video. Please give it a t So guys, after that, this is what you have. So you can see our belt. So you can see the booboo effect also and the key O. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You can make yours a long gown, you can make yours a short gown. It just depends on how you want to rock it and how you want to style it. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.